कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे ससुरों की गांड फट गई है लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन वी गॉट मोर लीक शबाद की GTA 6 एंड अपेरेंटली वी गॉट दिस वीडियो दैट आई वांट टू शो यू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड राइट नाउ अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर बिलीविंग दैट द गेम माइट गेट डिलेड टू 2026 वी गोना फाइंड आउट व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड लेट्स इन द अपकमिंग गेम रॉकस्टार डिसाइडेड टू कीप द फाइव स्टार वांटेड लेवल सिस्टम जस्ट लाइक इन GTA 5 दिस मींस दैट व्हेन प्लेयर्स कॉज ट्रबल दे कैन गेट अप टू फाइव स्टार्स विद ईच स्टार मेकिंग द पुलिस चेस द मोर इंटेंसली सम फैंस वर होपिंग फॉर अ रिटर्न ऑफ द सिक्स स्टार लेवल फ्रॉम ओल्डर गेम्स लाइक GTA San Andreas मैन दैट्स सच अ मिस ऑपर्चुनिटी ब्रो इवन द GTA 6 हैकर दैट लीक द लूसिया बोर्ड इवन ही वाज गिवन 20 स्टार वांटेड लेवल बाय रॉकस्टार गेम्स एंड यू आर टेलिंग मी दैट वी कैन नॉट हैव सिक्स स्टार Wanted level get more, bro. Where things got really tough, with even the National Guard joining the chase. Though in yeah. GTA 4, unlike <laughs> previous GTA games, the military is not deployed while being yeah. chased with six stars. And frankly, when I look at how the wanted level system worked in GTA 5, there are a lot of ways to improve this system. True. The first thing, six star wanted level or five star, or you cool with even like two star wanted yeah. level. Like I, I don't know where you guys are. That comes to mind is it, that the game should react differently based on the severity of the player's actions. Agreed, For less okay. serious incidents. Like accidentally hitting someone, the police might take longer to respond. However, for more serious crimes like robbing a store, the police would arrive much faster. And from the leaks, we already know that this is going to be the case. Yeah! Guys, call me crazy, but I am truly worried that they're gonna nerf the Lucia Bruna guys. Bruh. I I genuinely believe that. Look at look at how big it is, right? Like even in the trailer, it wasn't that big. They nerfed it, man. They 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 nerfed it. Guys. They they nerfed it, guys. They nerfed it. Let's be Ace. real. Moreover, there's an important feature noticed in these videos. In the Hanks Waffles robbery video, once the police arrive, they wait for the player to come out instead of rushing in. This is realistic, as this is how the police would behave in real life. Officers wouldn't recklessly storm into a crime scene, but would analyze the situation first and yep, then slowly yep, yep. take steps to apprehend. Also, I wonder if, if you guys have been following the news, right? Apparently, they say that the aliens, the aliens showed up. In my Miami Mall, right? We had the Miami Mall incident that happened in real life not long ago. I hope we get to see some like that in GTA 6. Like the video if you agree. That would be crazy. Imagine, imagine 60 cars uh, in like one mall in GTA 6. Yo, that would be a missed opportunity. They gotta do it. They got to do it, bruh. Apprehend the criminal. There's also it. talk about making crime scenes in the game more realistic. If something major happens, like a shootout, the area would be cordoned off by the police, just like in real life. This could yeah. make the game more immersive, where different I crimes agree. receive different levels of police attention. For minor offenses, only a single patrol should be sent, while for a bank robbery, a whole squad of counter-terrorists, yeah. negotiators, and so on should arrive. Yeah, and we better see those 60 cars for the Elamals, and the Martians are here, lock yourselves in the basement. In the previous game, various actions like damaging property or attacking police officers would increase the player's wanted level. Each mm -hmm. level of wanted mm -hmm. stars means the police try harder to catch the player. This system wasn't perfect, and I'm hoping for a more balanced approach in GTA 6. Also, also, older GTA games had ways to lower your wanted level, like finding yeah. police bribes or using a pay and spray shop to change the color of your car yeah, to escape the police. That. These features. And, and also, I've read this comment. One of you actually uh, said that, so I want to bring this to your attention. So you, you can always leave comment and let me know your suggestions as well. But I've seen a comment and a guy said that we gotta get like co-op now personally i used to play co-op games all the time with my friends i would have my homies over they would have their controllers they would bring their controllers and we would play a ton of games co-op uh, in a co-op fashion for example smackdown versus raw listen man if you play smackdown versus raw raise your hands in the comments okay because that was one of the best game ever for uh, especially co-op split screen with call of duty and we used to do that all the time in gta as well I, I, I would love it if we get jason and lucy a co-op single player where you can either play like split screen or you can actually everybody no no longer play no no one actually does co-op no more with split screen right it's all about online so i hope you have co-op online as well thoughts on this one are cool, although we changing talk, the color of a we gotta talk about GTA Online as well in a bit, car in a to escape the police isn't entirely realistic. From the leaks, we know that the police will remember details about the vehicles used in crimes. Just changing the color won't be enough because the model of the car and license plates are remembered. It's also worth noting that since the leaks, many things might have changed.
changed, and we might be yeah. able to equip our cars with advanced. Yeah, like the Lucia Burnout, for, for example, right? That's probably gonna get nerfed, right? Yeah. We gotta talk about GTA 6 online, not only. Devices. For example, In devices second. for swapping license plates while driving, or a tracker jammer to prevent GPS tracking devices from receiving or transmitting signals. Another interesting feature that's caught the attention of many, the ability to call shotgun in a vehicle. This means you can choose to sit in the front passenger seat rather than always having to be the driver. This is quite a change from previous games, where you could only be a passenger in a taxi. The idea here is to let another character in the game take the wheel while you enjoy okay. the ride as a passenger. This feature was mentioned in the leaks, and it's seen as a significant enhancement to the game. However, it's important to note that this feature hasn't been officially confirmed by Rockstar Games. While it yeah. appeared in the leaks, it was not showcased in the GTA 6 trailer, leaving some uncertainty about its inclusion in the final version of the game. But I think such an option is very likely, considering that shooting while being a passenger was an element of many missions in previous GTA games. You probably remember those missions from San Andreas with Big Smoke. Dude, GTA 5 had a ton of features, a ton of new features, ton of old features that they brought up. Not all of them. GTA 5 was a massive, it was a behemoth of a game, and especially for a time period when we had like PlayStation 3. Oh shit! It was a PlayStation 3 game, ladies and gentlemen, and GTA 6, like, that's gonna be PlayStation 5 game, like, after what, like a decade plus 12 years? Plus, right, 2025, right, came out, uh, GTA 5 came out in 2013. And that is if the game does not get delayed. Because right now, a lot of people believe that it's getting delayed to 2026, bro. I, I hope that doesn't happen, bro where you had to shoot from the passenger seat of a motorcycle. Such a feature would be very useful, not only in missions, but also in real-time gameplay, where two protagonists moving around the city could efficiently fend off gang attacks. Regarding the vehicles in GTA 6, various sources, including trailers and leaks, have revealed a range of cars, bikes, planes, helicopters, and boats that players can expect to see in the game. These vehicles- Yeah, this is like one of those things, right? I remember in GTA 4, we didn't have planes. Uh, we technically had it, but it was only like sitting duck on the airport right that was such a missed opportunity man so we we really need planes in fact we saw that in the trailer like that my point here is that there's probably gotta be some features that we're gonna miss and i hope that the, the, the features that we're gonna miss from previous games i hope they aren't too bad or too big of a deal because it's range from happening. classic models that have been part of the gta series for years to new additions fans have identified dozens of new vehicles from the trailer alone which we haven't seen in previous installments of gta so i'm hoping Hoping we'll get to shoot from them while not having to focus on driving. Now, uh -huh. something uh -huh. that few people noticed in the leaks, but is an interesting example of how Rockstar pays attention to details in the game. The use of different colored mission markers for each protagonist. In GTA 5, we saw distinct colors like blue, green, and orange used to represent missions for Michael, Franklin, and Trevor, respectively. This may seem trivial, but this color coding made it easier for players to quickly identify which missions belong to which character, facilitating actions during the gameplay. With GTA 6, Leaks have revealed the continuation of this color coding system, but with a twist. Everyone, of course, knows that the game will introduce at least two new protagonists, Lucia and Jason. I just hope that they do not emasculate my boy Jason, okay? I just hope that they do not give him like a Bud Light and change his gender, bruh, because that would be sad. I don't wanna, I don't wanna see Lucia be like all strong, independent, no need, no man. And then we have Jason on the other hand with like, with like Bud Light in hand and he's like, like, what's up, baby? Now I'm saying, changing my gender today. Yeah? I don't want to see something like that, bro. Like, I hope Lucia is strong. Okay, strong. I, I want to see a strong feminine character or female character. I want to see a strong masculine character as well. Like the video if you agree, because I have a feeling that, bro, like, he's gonna be taking the back seat a little bit. He's gonna be, he's gonna be the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh character, not even the second character. Bruh. The leaks showed mission markers in pink and orange colors, suggesting a similar approach to character-specific missions as in GTA 5. The pink markers are believed to represent missions for Lucia, while the orange yeah. markers are thought to be for- It's Lucia, it's not Lucia, bro, come on, man. Yeah, this algorithm, this AI be crazy. I love Inter first of all, but this AI be bug, you know, this AI be tweaking. Jason. And while I mentioned that the leak of Jason and Lucia's names is one of the key highlights of the GTA 6 leaks, the clips yeah. also mentioned various other characters from the game. Alongside the key protagonists, names like Kai, Dre, Sam, Wyman, Billy, Vicky, Iris, Shanice, Booby, Tit, Zach, <laughs> RB, Shaw, Y... Shanice be like, <laughs> Yo, whenever somebody mentions Shanice, I think of that Shanice PR from Activision, because she once said that men are, do not deserve to have internet. Bruh. Deadass, one of the Activision PR said that. 
PR, I'm not even talking about like a random dev, a PR said that like men don't deserve internet though. So that, that was crazy. And part of me feels like that, bro. Like I hope Jason do not get emasculated, guys. That that's that's the only thing I hope for right Jay, now. Danny, Chester, and Dale have been thrown into the mix, hinting at a rich and diverse cast that will populate the world of GTA 6. Among yeah. these, Kai has particularly caught the attention of fans, leading yeah. to widespread speculation that he might be a significant character. This area right here is gonna take 200 gigabytes of your hard drive space, guys. Bumbaka! The rest of the game, probably like 2 megabytes, but this game, th this area, 200 gigs. In the storyline, okay. possibly even the third main protagonist. What's intriguing about this leak is the sheer number of characters mentioned and the potential depth this could add to the game's narrative. Each character could potentially have their unique backstory, personality, and role in the game's world, and I can't wait to get to know each of these individuals. Imagine how much we might have missed in the trailer. Perhaps characters that seemed like mere NPCs could turn out to be antagonists, or I vice versa. So. The specific so. mention of Kai, who is believed to be that one guy from the trailer characterized by golden teeth, adds an element of mystery. His potential role in the game's narrative is a subject of much- The only mystery he adds is that I- I'm like thinking about this, right guys? Gather on emergency meeting, emergency meeting. The only mystery that Kai is adding to this is that his golden teeth, I'm worried that they're gonna be selling that as a microtransaction. Bumbaka. Like one teeth, twenty dollars. Bruh. You know, you want two teeths? We're gonna do a discount price, Yulo, and make it 35 instead of 40. Bumbaka! I'm worried, guys. I'm genuinely worried. I'm curiosity genuinely worried. and anticipation. Could he actually turn out to be the third protagonist? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about it? In the world of GTA 6, there's something new and exciting coming up, yeah. especially for those who love playing with others online. Back yeah! in September. Oh, Yo, for GTA Online, right? Guys, 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 guys. Do you want GTA Online 2? or GTA 6 Online 2. Because if you want GTA Online 2 though, it might just be like Los Santos at this point. And I know a lot of people have speculated this and a lot of people have said this and I've read your guys' comments. I would, no, not denying that, I would absolutely love the fact that if we have like GTA 6 Online, I want new man, don't you want something new, right? We have been through the streets of Los Santos for years, for years. I don't want no GTA Online 2. I want GTA 6 Online where it's brand new, brand new man. Brand new setting, obviously we're getting Miami, and brand new ranks. I don't want to start from like level 100. I want to start from level 100, uh, level one breath, level one breath. I want to, I want a new online experience. Some of you uh, are saying that, bro, I, I just want all of my ranks uh, and things to stay the same. Now, if and I guess that people that are saying this are the ones that might have spent like hundreds of dollars on the the microtransactions, right? And I get it that in that aspect sure okay i get it i get it that it should carry over in that aspect like if that you bought, bought the cars and crap like that okay understandable and if they're really gonna do something like that then yeah sure but i i don't think they're gonna go this route but i would not mind them having like los santos and all the maps Bruh. listen hear me out hear me out i wouldn't mind that they would have gta online los santos and all of that but you also have new Vice City as well, GTA 6, where, you know, you can take a plane down to Los Santos and vice versa. I would love something like that, 110%, where you have new ranks, new stuff to do, but also you can go back on Los Santos as well. I would love to see something like that. And sure, if you have bought like hundreds of microtransactions, then you surely can have... Uh, and you bought a lot of cars, you can surely have them over on GTA 6, but I... I Personally, if you want to ask for my honest opinion, though, like, I hope it's completely brand new, bro. Like, I, I want a brand new game, not like a GTA 5 remaster. Thoughts? September 2022, a leak gave us a sneak peek into a new multiplayer mode for GTA 6. This okay. mode seems to be an upgrade from what we've seen in GTA Online, with the leaked video showing a 32-player lobby. Yeah. However, there's a bit of concern among players about... Yeah, guys, 32 bussin' or not bussin'? In my opinion, not bussin' that much. ...about the need for dedicated servers, especially for those playing on PCs. In the current GTA Online, sometimes the game doesn't run as smoothly as it could because of server yeah. issues. Fans are yep. really hoping that Rockstar Games will fix this in GTA 6 by setting up dedicated servers. This would mean a better, more reliable online experience for everyone. And here's another interesting bit. Last year, Rockstar Games brought in CFX.re, a team of developers known for turning GTA 5 
live into a role-playing hit on Twitch. Yo, this I think role-play is gonna be amazing in this game. I think if they bring role-play on consoles, that would be busting. That would be so good, bro, because I've only seen streams of people like playing role-play. I never really got around to play it because you always hear, you don't want to play on PC. There are a ton of hacks and stuff, crap like that. And also, I'm not necessarily a PC player. I'm blessed to have RTX 3090, okay? Bruh. But still, I'm a console peasant at heart. Guys, we had a ton of leaks in this video. We had another GTA 6 leak video here. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. Check this out. Don't sleep on this one, boys.